You can help people find support through the help of assistance dogs at this weekend's Can Do Woofaroo. Yeah, here to tell us more about it, Melissa Herman with Can Do Canines. Hey, thanks so much for being Hi, here. Thanks for having us. And Gaines, welcome. Welcome here. Tell us about Gaines. <laughs> Gaines is in for final training. He is going okay. to be a mobility assist dog, and he is in fact going to one of his clients in the next in his client, excuse me, in the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Mobility assist. What exactly does that mean? Well, it's it's helping with a number of different tasks, but I can show you a couple of very basic ones that he'll be working sure, with let's his do client it. Absolutely. with as well. So, for example, if someone were to drop their keys, uh huh, get it. And he will just go and bring it back. Aww. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but these are basic things that yeah. can go a long way. It can go a long way. And, and all of our assistance dogs are capable of doing this, or if they drop their leash, get your leash. Thank you, good boy. So it could be pushing a button to open a, a electronic door, closing a cupboard, opening a drawer, pulling how, a laundry how basket. How do you train them? Well, they go through a pretty rigorous training yeah, starting yeah, they from, they must. from puppies. I mean, we work with uh, eight different prisons in Minnesota and Wisconsin, mm -hmm. so they go in for some very intensive training, one-on-one -on -one training. We also have a lot of volunteers that raise them sometimes for three months, sometimes for up to a year, and then they wow. come in to Can Do Canines for final training, mm -hmm. where the trainer and the dog decide what they want to be because yeah. it's very important that the dog enjoys what they do or they won't be successful at it. So that's very mm. important to us. Tell us about Can Do Canines for people who may not be familiar. We provide assistance dogs to people with disabilities and what's very important is that we do that at no charge. So mm. while the cost for each one of our dogs is about $45,000, right. our clients never pay for any of that, which mm. is why our different fundraising events, of course, are, mm. are so critical to our success. Well, then tell us that leads us right into Can Do Wolfaroo. Every time I say that, I sort of crack <laughs> up internally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is one of our signature fundraisers. It's an outdoor walk and festival, and we've got live music, uh, an assistance dog demonstration, a dog costume contest, caricature artists, all of our vendors are dog centric. So if you're a dog lover, it's dog products, dog services, of course our one mile walk, prizes, food, mm. and then we encourage people to bring their pet dogs. So oh, it's a wonderful okay. event for the whole family. Wow. And when is this taking place? It's this Saturday, okay. September 14th. It begins at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we encourage people to fundraise, but you can also just in come and enjoy the day. Yeah, and it's at Can Do's. It's at Can Do Canines in New Hope. I see, okay. And how many people has Can Do Canines helped over the years? We have certified over 900 teams oh, since wow. we began in 1989. And mm -hmm. do these teams generally stay together for quite some time? They do. They do. They keep them through the life of the dog. They do. They do. Mm -hmm. And we have clients who sometimes will come back and get a successor dog because right. they still have a need from for a, an assistance dog. Right. Yeah. And I bet are so grateful for yeah. that. Melissa, yeah. thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. for having us. Yeah. And that Can Do Woofaroo again Saturday, 10 to 1.30. It's at the Can Do Canines facility in New Hope. You can go to CanDoCanines.org for more information. We'll also include a link when we post this video on our website, WCCO.com.